India's first privately developed launch vehicle, Vikram S, launched successfully from the Indian Space Research Organization's Sri Harikota spaceport. The mission, named Prarambh, or the beginning, marks the Indian private sector's first foray into the promising space launch market. Developed by four-year-old startup Skyroot Aerospace, the launch of the rocket would mark the foray of private sector into the country's space industry. The space sector was open to private players by the centre in 2020. For further details, let's go across to my colleague Sam, who joins us live at the moment. Sam, a historic first for the Indian private space sector. Give us a glimpse of the atmosphere. That's right. For the first time in Indian history, a private company built satellite launch vehicle lifted off from Sri Harikota, a few kilometers from where I am. I'm at the media center at ISRO's uh, facility here. There's excitement both among ISRO and the two co-founders who had started up that particular company, Skyroot Aerospace. And uh, it, it was kind of a perfect textbook finish, as many call it. The rocket touched 89 kilometers at it altitude and splashed down as expected within five minutes and the data they would get the kind of studies they would make on the performance of certain technologies this uh, rocket carried would help them in incorporating them in the series of uh, launches they would have they planned in the coming years and uh, the two co-founders say that uh, they have already raised around 500 crore rupees and they have many plans to impact lives that's what they say they want to make launching of satellites as simple as booking a cab using an app that simple they want to make and they hope that the unique features the rocket has and the kind of plans they have would really revolutionize both satellite launching and impacting lives across the country in terms of uh, the response from the department ISRO and in space they say they've been hand holding this startup over the last two years helping them with infrastructure of ISRO and also expertise and mentoring by experts in ISRO and they rule out that this could be the beginning of a slowdown of ISRO they say nothing like that it's just like taking cues from international communities that space area has been allowed for private participation. India is also joining that kind of a league and this does not mean like BSNL or Air India, see ISRO could actually slow down. And they say so far more than 150 private start startups have applied to enter to make a foray in this uh, uh, space uh, field and they hope that in the coming years they, all these will actually turn up into interesting projects both in terms of designing building launch vehicles and also in areas of workstations and payloads and it's a great beginning we'll have to wait and watch how this one will change the way uh, the space technology the space the, the besides the government how much companies can make a difference the big worry of course many say is that as you allow more private participation their focus will be on commercially viable or profitable projects and the focus on public interest missions could be less but authorities say ISRO is always there and they would take care of those areas where like mapping or weather and things like that to help India help many communities including farmers and help governments local governments prepare for uh, in terms of flooding in terms of rains and cyclone they'll be able to meet those demands right